Hi, it's Anika from Living For Later. Welcome back to another episode of 40 Things That I Have Learned On My Road To Turning 40. So today I wanna talk about the lesson that I have learned, and that is just the need to keep my house clean and to be organized. And of course, this is a Christian channel, so it goes without saying that, you know, our, our spiritual house, our, keeping our spirits in order and keeping that clean and keeping the enemy out, definitely that's on point. But today what I'm speaking about is the place that we live in. Um, organization used to be like a real struggle for me. And over the years, praise the Lord for Pinterest and YouTube and um, just different resources that are out there, I have become better. And I think that organization was really um, difficult for me because I was like always over the place, right? Start in one room over here and just so scattered. But I think that was just indicative of um, sometimes what was going on internally. But in any case, um, as I have grown and have done research, praise the Lord, I've gotten a little better at it. I'm not um, the master at it, but I have gotten a lot better and I have found that it just really makes such a difference. Um, Sometimes if I am just not in a good mood and I look around, I recognize that my surroundings totally um, impacts my mood. So if my house is a mess, right? I'm walking, tripping over things. It impacts my mood. Um, and, and that's something that I, I really um, initially didn't make the connection with, but there's something about when you wake up in the morning and you, you know, you can look around and you can actually put your feet on the floor without tripping over things. And you know, you go into your room midday and your bed is made just little things like that really makes a difference. And I'm not saying when I say clean your house, that um, my house is always 100% in order. There's eight of us that live here. So realistically speaking, every day it's not a 10. Every day it's not Pinterest ready. But I do try my best to keep specific areas of the home in order um, because it just, again, makes a difference. And what I have found, if I'm going to be really, really honest with myself, is that um, sometimes my house is not clean because I have the wrong priorities. And again, I already confessed in a previous video that you know Mondays can be rough in our household because we're recovering from the weekend. So I'm not one of those crazy um, OCD people that's like, and I don't mean to call them crazy, but people who are just like, everything has to be everywhere all the time. I'm not like that. I live, I live my life, but I also try not to let it get just totally you know out of control so over the weekends it can get a little bit crazy and then on monday i kind of bring it back in but i prioritize cleaning my house and getting things in order and again i'm not saying that it's always perfect but it's problematic if your house is always a mess it's problematic that if every time the doorbell rings you go into panic mode because you don't want people to come inside um, to see what's going on so i just again have learned that it's helpful um, to be clean because God is a God of order and to spend that time to clean my home and to maintain it and I, I know again with eight people in my house it's not always perfect but I know that I can't just be like oh it's eight of us living here so whatever no I work on trying um, to create some kind of schedule uh, throughout the week to, to try to maintain some things so I just want to encourage you again um, with this thought to clean your house. 